In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying numbers with decimals. So let's start with a basic example first. What is 4.6 multiplied by 7? Well, first, we need to multiply 6 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. So we need to put the first number 2 and carry over the 4. Next, let's multiply 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28, and we need to add the 4 on top. 28 plus 4, that's 32. Now, notice that we have one number to the right of a decimal point. So therefore, in our answer, we should have one number to the right of a decimal point. So the answer is 32.2. Now let's try another example. Let's multiply 3.9 by 5.6. Feel free to try this one if you want to. So first, let's multiply 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54. So we're going to write the 4, and then we're going to carry over the 5. Next, let's multiply 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18 and 18 plus 5 is 23. Now let's move on to the 5. Let's multiply 5 and 9. 5 times 9 is 45, so we need to write the 5. But we need to add a 0 first, and then we'll write the 5, carry over the 4. Next, let's multiply 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4, that's 19. Now what we need to do is add. 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 5 is 8, 2 plus 9 is 11, carry over the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Now notice that we have two numbers to the right of a decimal point. So therefore in our answer we should have two numbers to the right of a decimal point. So the final answer is 21.84 and that's it. Now let's multiply 12.9 by 3.7. Feel free to try this problem. So first, let's multiply 9 times 7. 9 times 7 is 63, so we're going to write the 3 and carry over the 6. Next, let's multiply 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 6, that's going to be 20. So we're going to write the 0 and carry over the 2. Next we have 1 times 7, which is 7 plus 2. That's equal to 9. Now let's add a 0. Let's get rid of these numbers. So now we're going to multiply 3 times 9. 3 times 9 is 27. Let's carry over the 2. And then we'll multiply 2 times 3 which is 6 plus 2, that's 8. And then finally, 1 times 3, which is just 3. Now let's add the numbers. 3 plus 0 is 3. 0 plus 7 is the same thing. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry over the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Now, how many numbers do we have to the right of a decimal point? So here's one, and here's another one. So we got two numbers to the right of the decimal point. Our final answer should be the same. So these two numbers are going to be to the right of this decimal point. Therefore, the answer is 47.73. Let's continue working on some more examples. Let's multiply 14.56 by 2.8. So let's start with 8 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48. Let's carry over the 4. Next, we have 8 times 5, which is 40, plus 4. So that's uh, 44. And we're going to carry over the next 4. And then 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4. That's 36. So let's write 6, and then carry over the 3. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3, that's 11. 
So now, let's uh, let's get rid of these numbers. Let's add a zero, and then let's multiply two times six. Two times six is twelve. Carry over the one, and then. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1, that's 11. So let's carry over the next one. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, that's 9. And then 1 times 2 is just 2. So now we can add. So this is going to be 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry over the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. Now, where should we put the decimal? So looking at the original problem, the first number has two digits to the right of a decimal point, and the second number only has one. Therefore, our final answer should have a total of three numbers to the right of the decimal point. So therefore, the answer is 40.768. Now let's move on to some harder examples. Let's multiply 13.79 by 5.46. So go ahead and try this problem. Let's begin by multiplying 9 and 6. 9 times 6 is 54. And let's add the 5 on top. Next, we have 7 times 6 which is 42 plus 5, so that's uh, 47. Let's carry over the 4. And next we have uh, 6 times 3, which is 18 plus 4, so that's 22. And now let's add the other 2 there. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2, that's 8. Now, don't forget to add a 0. So we're done with 6, let's move on to 4. 4 times 9, that's 36. So let's add a 3. And then 4 times 7 is 28 plus 3, that's uh, 31. So let's carry over the other 3. And then 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3, that's 15. So let's write 5 and carry over the 1. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1, that's 5. So now we're going to move on to 5. Let's get rid of the numbers on top. And let's add a 0. Actually, this time we're going to add two zeros. So now 5 times 9 that's 45 and then 5 times 7 is 35 plus 4 that's 39 carry over the 3 5 times 3 is 15 plus 3 that's 18 and then 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 that's 6 so now let's add the numbers so this is 4 4 7 plus 6 is uh, 13 and then 1, 2, and 1, that's 4, plus 5 is 9. 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 9, that's 22. 8 and 2 is 10, plus 5, that's 15. And 6 and 1 is 7. Now, where shall we put the decimal? So looking at the original numbers, the first number has two numbers to the right of the decimal point. And the second number also have two numbers. So therefore, our final answer should have a total of four digits to the right of the decimal point, which means our answer is 75.2934. Now, if you have your calculator, you can confirm all of these answers. So if you type it in 13.79, times 5.46. This is indeed 75.2934. So now you know how to multiply two numbers uh, that contain decimal numbers. 
So every time you need to add a new line, don't forget to add a zero. If you're adding another line, then once you get to your third line, you're adding two zeros. So don't forget about that step. And the last thing you have to keep in mind is the numbers of, or the amount of numbers that is to the right of the decimal point, make sure that is equal to the amount of numbers to the right of the decimal point in your final answer.